means that when you are giving your tithe, you are not obeying a law that if you don't do, you will be cursed. You are not obeying a law that if you don't keep, a devourer will kill you. You are not obeying a law that if you don't keep, you will go to hell. All of that has been handled. I don't need to try to avoid cost. I am blessed. Because I am blessed, I cannot be cost. The Bible said in Galatians 3, 13, 14, 18 and 19, that Christ has been made a cost for us. Cost is everyone that hangeth on the tree, that the blessings of God may come upon, not just the Jews now, but even the Gentiles. And remember, when Balaam wanted to cost Israel, the Bible said you can't cost him that the Lord has blessed. But there's no enchantment against Jacob. There's no divination against Israel. So, I'm not paying tithe to avoid the cost. I'm giving tithe for a superior purpose. Number two, no devourer can destroy anything about me because the authority to rebuke the devourer is no longer in heaven it's with me he said all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me you go in that power he said in my name cast out devils he said i am seated with christ in heavenly places far above principalities and power above every name and every dominion that is mentioned so any devourer that comes in the name of jesus i will rebuke that devourer i don't need to wait for god to rebuke any devourer i have the authority in christ jesus to rebuke devourer and finally i'm not going to hell because i don't pay tithe because tithe was not part of the contract of salvation. Jesus paid the price to save me. My job is to believe him and confess him as Lord. So long as my faith in Christ is intact and I reaffirm him as my Lord and Savior, I have a an express ticket to go to heaven. And when I appear before the judgment seat, nobody will ask me about tithe. The question that will be asked is whether the life of God is in you. Because the book that will be opened for salvation is the book of life. And the Bible said, this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. That life is in his son. Whoever had the son has life. Whoever had not the son has not lied. He said, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son that you may know that you have eternal life. So I'm not afraid of hell because I know that I've been redeemed from condemnation. So why then do I give tithe? My tithe is an act of honor to God. I see God as my Lord. I see God as my Savior. So anything that comes to me I must of necessity in the spirit of honor take a portion out of it and honor the Lord. So I give it as an act of honor. Number two, why do I give my tithe? I give it as an act of worship because I acknowledge God to be my source. Although I'm working in a bank, but the bank is not my source. I acknowledge God to be my source. So if I receive from God, it's only right that I show gratitude. Why do I give my tithe? Number three, I give my tithe as an act of consecration because live tithe and first fruit and offerings. Number four is because I love the Lord. Where a man's treasure is, that's where his heart is. I